so first we will uh, see about a uh, new function uh, in uh, system wedlock with the coding so we have already seen the theory of uh, new function so we will uh, see the coding part how to use this uh, new function so we will uh, create a class called uh, test underscore one and uh, I'll use the uh, int b and I will create a function called new with uh, arguments int a and uh, I will use this dot b is equal to a ending the function and ending the class and I will create the handle for this test underscore one as uh, t1 only one handle I will create and I will create a module called tb and initial begin I will create an object for this t3 so this is a syntax for creating an object sorry this handle t1 so for the handle t1 I am creating an object with the help of the keyword new so wait a minute and I will pass the argument say 10 to this and I am going to pass an argument 10 to the keyword new and I am going to display this dollar display the value of a inside the class is percentage d comma I will I should display through my handle only then only it will be displayed t1 dot b and ending this Now it's getting, yeah. So here I can see the value of, uh, uh, sorry, here not A, it is B. So the value of B inside the class is 10. So what I'm doing is I'm initially creating the uh, class, which is called test underscore one. And uh, I am uh, using a variable. Uh, it is a property B of data type int and I'm using a function new int a and this dot b so this b indicates a global variable which is declared inside the class so this dot b so that this keyword is used to refer a global variable which is declared inside the class so if we remove this uh, this from here so we will get a compilation error so we should use this to refer a global variable which is declared inside the class so the value of a will be equal to uh, uh, the, so the value which is given to a will be assigned to b so with the help of this keyword new we can uh, create an object as well as pass the variables to our class uh, to our function new so this new has two role, uh, two functions one is to create an object or, and another is it can also pass uh, arguments to our inbuilt function new so it can do two functions is this clear this we have already discussed in theory part. So I wanted to show it in uh, through coding. So that's why new is also called as a constructor. Now one more example of a how to create a a class object and how to display uh, properties which are declared inside the class so I will name it as displaying properties inside a class so I will show how to uh, display the properties which are declared inside the class so we have a class called test underscore two and inside this I will display I will use int m and int n and 
we can also have a function void display so void function will not have any arguments sorry no output value uh, no output type so we can display dollar display the value of m and n is getting displayed from the function is percentage d and percentage d comma m comma n so i will give the value of m is equal to 15 and n is equal to 17 and here ending the function and within a module called tv so i should end the class also in the class so within a module called uh, tb within initial beginning block so before creating the module i should declare the class handles for test underscore 2 i should have class handles i'll declare the class handle as t1 comma t2 so t1 comma t2 are my class handles of test underscore t2 so within an initial beginning block what i will do i will create the objects for the class handles t1 by key by the constructor new and t2 is equal to new so i have created two objects and i'm going to display them t so dollar display the value of t1 dot m is uh, percentage d and t2 dot m is percentage D, comma t1 dot m comma t2 dot m so i am displaying the value of m from the object t1 and t2 sorry from with the handle t1 and t2 and uh, now i am going to call the function t1 dot display so the functions which are declared inside the class are called by the handle so this is a syntax for calling any function which is declared inside the class with the handle we will call the function and t2 dot display so this is how we will call the functions which are declared inside the class and ending this and ending the module is this clear how to declare the class how to declare the properties and how to call the functions so these are very important when uh, when we go to tv building test bench building then these are a very important is this clear so the name of the module is tb so here at the output we can see the value of t1 dot m is 15 and the value of t2 dot m is 15 and after when we calling the function we are getting the value of m and n is getting displayed from the function and the values are 15 comma 17 and the value of m and n is getting displayed from the function 15 comma 17 when we are calling the function with the second handle so we are calling the function with first handle and the second handle and without calling the function we are just displaying the properties with the handles that is t1 dot uh, t1 dot m and t2 dot m so this is just simply displaying the properties with uh, handles and this is the syntax for calling a function with handles is this clear so if you are having any doubt you can ask me So this is one more example. Is this clear, right? Is this okay? Yes.
Yes, it is clear. Yeah. Thank you. Now, now let's see the static uh, variables and static functions. So first, we'll see the static variables in. So we have already discussed in theory sessions. You will now see it in practical. So static variables. So I will declare a class called test underscore three, and I will declare a normal variable called count and another variable of static data type, static int count underscore static. So within a function void increment, I'm going to increment the values of count. So I can simply use count plus plus for incrementing the value of count and uh, I will increment the count underscore static plus plus and ending the function. Now, what I'm going to do is module, sorry, first I should end the class and I will test underscore three, I will declare the handles t1 comma t2 and module tb initial begin. I should create the objects for this handles t2 equal to new. Now I will call the function incr with the handle t1 and I will call the function incr with the handle t2 and let me display the values of uh, count and count underscore static dollar display the values of uh, count is percentage d and count underscore static is uh, percentage d comma count sorry we should uh, not count it is t1 dot count comma t2 dot sorry t1 dot count underscore static so the values of count with the handle when called with the handle t1 is percentage d and yeah so let me copy this and i will display it with when called with handle t2 So dollar display when called with handle t2 t2 dot count and t2 dot count underscore static. Wait a minute, my charging is dead. So if I analyze the output, I can see. The values of count when called with the handle t1 is 1 and count underscore static is 2 and the values of count when called with the handle t2 is 1 and the count underscore static is 2. Wait a minute. Okay. So I will remove this t1 dot t2 dot ins here. and I will paste it over here. T1 
pto.incr or else uh, wait a minute i will comment this So let me recompile it again. Since I am uh, using the functions uh, one after other and I am displaying, so I am not I am not able to see what's happening. So let me recompile it again. Yeah, so the value of count when called with the handle t1 is 1 and the value of count underscore static is 1 and the value of count when called with the handle t2 is 0 and the count static is 1 and when the again I am calling the function so I am getting the value of count t1 is 1 and the count underscore static is 2. So here we can see the count underscore static variable uh, we have declared it as static. So both the objects is sharing the same variable. So when we are calling the function with both the handles, so it is sharing the uh, same variable. So it is incrementing the same, uh, what to say, same property. This we have already discussed in theory. So this count is a normal uh, property. So for every object, it will create its own local copy and when we call the function, so it will increment its local copy only. So that's why in the output we can see when we uh, are calling the function, only the local copy is getting incremented. But this count underscore static is shared between, shared between the both objects t1 and t2. So when we are calling the function incr, so we are getting incremented value. So when we are calling that uh, INCR with the handle T1, so the count underscore static uh, value is getting incremented. And again, when we are calling the value with T2 dot INCR, then the same value is getting incremented. That's why we can see the value of T2 dot INCR as two. Is this clear? Is this clear for everyone? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. So that's all about uh, static variables. So I wanted to show uh, with the help of coding also. So we have static functions and function static that we will discuss in tomorrow's session. So that's all for today's session. If you are having any doubts, you can ask me or else we can end this session. Thank you. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, by default, we uh, in class it is automatic, I guess. Yes. Uh, in module, in module, if we try to define it, is it static or automatic? In modules, it is static. In Verilog okay. also, uh, in Verilog also, if we declare mm -hmm. anything in module, so it will be static. So that's why uh, we uh, we will normally use it, uh, like a uh, uh, say counter example. If you declare any register in a module, then if you increment it, then the same value will be incremented. Okay. Yeah, got it. And in first example, 